Hello Taurus, we're going to take a look at the eclipse energy and how it's going to affect you over the next few months and the guides are saying what you need to hear to help you stay on track, on course and if you get misguided, back on. So I welcome you to my channel you guys, I hope you're doing well. This is a special reading that we're going to take a look at because the eclipse has brought on a lot of uh, for our Taurus, a lot of energy that's kind of stuck for some of you. You feel this growth, you know it's in route to you, but yet you can't actually grab it. Your guides are saying right now, this message is very important to hear because you have the ability to take your soul, your authentic, real, eternal spirit, and emerge it, infuse it with the earth right now. Being a human being, we can incorporate all of this and they're saying it's time for you to really pull it in, hone it in and pay attention to everything that's going on around you. There are opportunities that some of you have missed because you're not focused in that area. You're not awake and you may be going through ascension symptoms. Now you can click this link. It'll take you over to my um, website where I've written out some of the ascension symptoms. Even if you've already grown and you're in a place of feeling like everything is going right, feeling like everything is on track, you may be finding yourself stuck. You may be finding things kind of slowly turning around because that may not be what your sole purpose actually is. It may not be resonating with what you're meant to actually do. So they're telling you to pay very close attention to everything that's going on in the outside world. It is going to benefit you tremendously and it is going to bring cause for celebration. If you are around people who are gossiping, this came in sideways. Okay, this came out sideways. So when we're looking at tarot, it can go either way when I see it go sideways. If you're around people who are not celebrating the joy that's around them and finding more of the, the negativity and bringing that into their life. These are the people that you want to stay clear of. It doesn't necessarily mean Taurus that you have to get rid of them and never speak to them again. But right now we are in a path where this opportunity is going to lift us up if we choose to go that direction. And it is going to be very, very big for a lot of you. You're an earth sign. You connect to earth really well, but you may have a problem sometimes getting that dreamy state into manifesting it into reality. However, if you are around people who are gossiping, if you're around people who are not on their best behavior, you may be looked at internally through the divine that you're participating with them. So take a leap of faith and believe in yourself. These are not people that you actually need to be listening to. It's time to move forward and to create a new path that is what you want. And these people may not be part of it, okay? You may bring them back in later again, but right now it's more important for you to stay in balance. You've got this beautiful image right now of I see these ideas kind of trickling down for the sign of Taurus. And if you are focused over here, you're going to miss these. You're going to miss opportunities. You're going to miss the ideas. You're going to miss this beautiful moment of spiritual growth. The spiritual growth, when we are moving in our soul purpose, things go right along very, very well. And what's happening right now, through all the ascension symptoms, through all the eclipse and heightened emotions and all of these things that people are experiencing, they're finding that what they're doing may not seem right. A doubt. Doubting your own ability to create the security that you need. And they're saying you know exactly what to do. Thank you. So they're telling me all of this information for you, Taurus. And I hope that this helps you in some way as you move forward. You're going to go through a period of letting go of these people. Now this Five of Cups is talking about crying over something that is no longer there. Something you had an emotional attachment. Now it may very well be the people around you. This can indicate the people that you are closest to, but not necessarily are they on your side. So letting go of the three, the three of cups, the three, by the way, that'll be your number because that's not the only three I see 
a lot of threes. This is your overall message. It is the three with the Empress. So this is a beautiful time for you to pay very close attention. Allow yourself to release and cleanse out all of the things you thought were that weren't. To bring in the possibilities you thought were not reality, not capable, not probabilities. But because it's held inside your spirit, the guides are saying, Taurus, allow that to cleanse out with the old energy and the new energy to come and infuse you to where you grab this Two of Cups right behind you. That Two of Cups is going to create security around you. That's an offer. It's a partnership. It is a two people, you, coming together with either an organization or a person. It's going to work differently for each and every one of you. But the bottom line is this is an opportunity for you to really grab onto something that you may have thought was gone for some of you. Mercury in retrograde may have brought back something. And I see it's in a job, arena, career, sector. So some of you may have been really thinking that that opportunity is gone. Now, as I record this, we are approaching toward the latter part of Mercury and retrograde. Mercury in retro brings it back so that we can grab on either accepting it and putting it into our life and going forward with it or not. But remember this shift that we're going through with a combination of the new moon that took place the same day as the eclipse. This is new growth, new opportunities for you guys where you're going to create that beautiful partnership. Now, some of you, this may very well be a relationship, but for all of you, whatever level of life it is, this is a divinely guided bringing together of you and this other. The two of you together will merge as one and you will become uh, unstoppable, invincible, but yet you will still be uh, feeling all the effects of being a human being. It's not like ego. It's not about ego at all. So that was the message that came there. It's time to really open up and let somebody in. Let somebody help you as you go forward. They're going to create balance and boy, oh boy, you're going to have that emotional attachment. Remember, I said it's time to heal over what you've lost. Letting go of something today that no longer serves you. So you can grab onto this Two of Cups right behind you. And we have the Ace of Cups. You're creating emotional attachments, new foundations, new relationships, new concepts that are going to grow you on a spiritual level. And the Divine is saying this is your moment to really shine. And I mean shine, Taurus. There are people who are going to start showing up. You're going to get emails. You're going to get communication from all over the globe. For some of you, it's not just in your local area. It's all over the place. And these individuals are going to help you ascend to a higher level right here through this next three months. It's important, again, for you to let go of anyone or anything that does not work for you. And this could be having a conversation with somebody who continually cuts you off, who tells you you're wrong, who says, no, it's this way, and defines that, you know, but we're on the same page. You know, they're doing this little game over here because they're not awake, and you being with them can cause you to go into this backward mode. So it's a big moment to actually separate yourself from the other, separate yourself the way you are meant to do. Now, I have pulled a card for you. This is your angel message through the writing. Your destined outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and do not try to force it to happen. So you can see this card clearly is embedded in this message because this is for Taurus, no matter whether you are sun, moon, or rising. And this may not be you. This may be your partner who is a Taurus. But Taurus, this is your season to get grounded, to pull down everything, all of the spiritual, bountiful blessings that are there for you and put them into play to create security. So you guys, I hope this helps you. Much love.